on Eric here from Producer Dudes, and we're going to be looking into Cubase today. Um, and I'm going to be making several videos. This first one is very simple, and it's something that, uh, and it's essentially, <laughs> where do I store my projects for the best results? I'm currently on a 16-inch MacBook. I only got 500 gigs of solid-state storage on my laptop, and so what I actually do is I have an entire SSD that I have plugged in at all times, and I called it Sessions. And as you can see, I have my studio work, some Pro Tools sessions, um, some Final Cut projects, uh, my podcast, one of the churches I work with, my YouTube videos, where this one's actually being stored right now, and Cubase. And then I have some songs, some artists, some uh, churches I work with, and some more YouTube stuff. Now, the way we actually save our sessions to those is I have it set up to prompt for project location at the time of creation. And say I create an empty session, then I will actually, let's say, producer dudes, video one, and I will select video one and hit open. And now everything I do, all the audio I record, uh, all the bounces I make, everything like that shows up in that folder. So, Let's go ahead and add a quick track, and I'm just going to record some audio. Check one, two, I don't know if it's on this microphone, and it looks like it is, very good. And it's stereo for some reason. And so if I play that back, check one, two, I don't know if it's on this microphone, and it looks like it is, very good. And it's stereo for some reason. Cool. That's not what you want, but it's what you get. Uh, <laughs> and if I were to open up the sessions, go to Cubase, Producer Dudes, Video 1, Audio, that file is there. So it's, this file is called 0101, and then the audio file is there. And so... All my stuff happens on an external hard drive. The reason I do this is, honestly, at this point, it's kind of force of habit. Um, back when my computers wouldn't have solid-state drives or uh, I had a weaker system, it was hard for my computer to juggle writing and reading at the same time, especially if I get into doing virtual instruments like a drummer or a piano and I have a bunch of those going. I put a lot of stress on the computer to get those things done. But now that I have things going to certain locations, it's easier for my computer to juggle it because my computer isn't the thing doing everything. Uh, sure, it's sending stuff places, but it's not having to write and read and read and write and vice versa over and over again every single time. And so if I were you, I would highly suggest a external hard drive. Uh, I have a couple Samsung T5s. They're 500 gigs each and they work and then whenever I fill those up I actually get an external hard drive that's much larger and uh, it could be a disk type and I actually just copy all those over so that I don't have to have all the sessions on me at a time um, and you'd be surprised how long it takes to fill up 500 gigs um, I've had this hard drive for a couple I'd say probably about six or seven months now and I'm pretty good on the storage on it and so I would suggest doing that. And then if I were to save it and, you know, i got to give it a name. So let's call this video one, since that's the folder name, it's there. And that's what I like to do with Cubase, Pro Tools, any DAW really. Um, but that's how you do it on Cubase. All right, check you out in the next video.